So today we're going to try and make it down to Alstrom Point. It's a pretty good drive. It probably takes about eight hours to get there from my understanding. Um, we'll see. Hopefully we make it down there because that would be an ideal spot to camp. Um, just kind of depends on how things go today. So we'll see. But that's the plan just to get back on the road. The nice thing about this type of travel is this was not our planned campsite last night doesn't matter it was incredible it was gorgeous and we're not on a time crunch where we have to be at specific campsites at specific times this um, this type of travel is relaxing because you're not on such a schedule this is um, that's awesome I'm absolutely loving the relaxation and the, the changing views um, yeah it's incredible so a quick recap on yesterday, I wasn't able to film as much as I probably should have, but we were just enjoying ourselves too much. Um, we alternated trail between some nice, almost paved gravel roads, and then through the town of, was it, what was the town, sweetheart? Bloomington? Huh? Is it Bloomington? Yeah, Bloomington, Utah. Uh, it was actually a really pretty town. Um, Lots of gorgeous houses, and, and the route that kind of took us through was between a bunch of, like, the neighborhoods. Um, so I went through Bloomington, and then back out onto some, uh, you know, almost paved uh, gravel roads, or at least smooth gravel roads. And then we got to a fun section of kind of washed out areas. Um, Sarah did great. She was driving while I was taking pictures, and even through some pretty steep descents down through the gully she did great no problems <clears throat> we got back to some more um, nice flat road and then we got to a trail called honeymoon trail uh, i took a picture of it i'll see if i can post the information on here um, <laughs> we didn't know what to expect uh, it was it was tight at a lot of really tight switchbacks a lot of really off camber spots, um, a couple washouts, and we had to put it in low low range to crawl up it, and Sarah did the whole thing. She did amazing. Um, only had to get out and spot a couple times, and that was mostly because uh, a bunch of UTVs had stopped in front of us, and they had guys standing on the sides, hold, leaning back to keep from rolling down some of these steep inclines, and Sarah and the Tacoma just put it in low range, I spotted and we rolled right through it without a problem. So I know she was a little bit nervous, but uh, yeah, she kicked butt today or yesterday and uh, really, really proud of her on that. So I think uh, we're gonna get ready, make some breakfast. I'm thinking pancakes this morning. Um, maybe put on something other than shorts and chacos. I'm getting a little chilly. So we're gonna see where the day takes us and uh, yeah, we'll bring you guys along. <laughs> What's up guys? So we are all fueled up, um, stopped by a little gas station. I think we're getting around 10 to 11 MPG off-road. We've done about 75 miles or so so far. Anyway, um, we are back on dirt of all things, like or more like sand, real loose sand and uh, slick rock. Looks kind of similar to Moab. From the look of GPS, we'll be on it for a while, so we're airing down and uh, we'll see what this trail holds.
Well, I kind of goof that up. You know, as an amateur vlogger, my entire purpose is to tell you, the viewers, a story. To shoot all of the, the beginning, the middle, the end, to really convey what's going on. But I also get really focused. And in this next scene, you'll see the end. You'll see us getting out of the predicament we were in. But I was so focused on getting us out, then I neglected to turn on the cameras for all the beginning and the story behind it. So watch the clip, you'll see us get out, and then when I kind of wrap up the day, I'll tell you a little bit more about what was going on. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to editing. Hell yeah. <laughs> From here, just hit me straight. Yep, keep coming, keep coming. Come, 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 come. Yeah, baby. Turn left. The wife is. guys so we are at bull valley gorge which i'll send i'll show you some video of it's a uh, looks like a really big slot canyon it's really cool looking um we're probably two or three miles from our camp for the night and uh we did not make it as far as we'd wanted <laughs> because we got delayed mm -hmm. um we went down some pretty extreme pretty fun um like sand dunes and sand trails um and with about three miles of the end, we ran across a creek. And the embankment was very, very tall and very rutted. So there were a bunch of UTVs in front of us that were getting stuck uh, and trying to find alternate ways up. They didn't think we could do it. Um, they were offering to go get shovels and stuff. So we grabbed our uh, traction uh, mats and used them to kind of shovel down uh, a little bit of the um, the ruts and smoothed it out just a little bit and then kind of buried the traction jacks down so that they could be used to obviously get traction up and the guys with the UTVs was a big family of them and they actually offered to help and they kind of helped dig and throw some rocks in there for a few minutes because they had a couple of vehicles they couldn't get up either so um, put it in four low locked the rear and it walked up it with no problem it was it was pretty impressive um, and then all the other vehicles were able to follow up after us. So, yeah, it was good times, but that slowed us down a couple hours. So we are um, staying not far from this Bull Valley. This is in um, which national park is this? Is that Bryce? I think this is still part of Bryce. Maybe in Escalante. They kind of run side by side. But um, so anyway, yeah, um, we had some really fun trails today. Mm -hmm. um, some beautiful views and now a really cool gorge that we're going to explore a little bit and then head back to the truck and get to camp before dark this time. Good deal. Good day. Maybe another time when we have more time, we'll actually do a little bit of exploring and see if we can get to the bottom of the canyon. But for now, 
cool view, but I'm hungry and we're ready to eat.